Focusing on the future, we are highlighting a middle schooler in Central Bucks who has been named one of the most promising STEM students in the country. This young man is amazing. Our wish Keisha Bailey sat down with a future scientist as he talked about his love for quails and how his invention could help farmers. I like researching <coughs> for how to solve the problems, and it's a very nice feeling when you finally, like, it all clicks together. That's the real magic behind science and engineering. We're setting up the camera to, like, point at the egg. Ethan Schlossberg, with the help of his dad, Eugene, spent hours and hours studying images of quail eggs. We did this 20 photos per egg, and I think we had close to like 200 eggs. A lot of farmers don't know which quail are like laying which egg since they're all kept together in one cage. It's hard to find out which ones are doing what. Ethan and his older sister would spend a lot of time on a friend's family farm that was home to over 200 quail birds. As part of a science project, Ethan set out to prove and answer the question, are quail egg patterns unique to quail? They discovered a free public artificial intelligence software program on Amazon. The Amazon one we found was really easy to use since it just works off the cloud. Uh, so you don't have to do anything special with your computer. The engine is geared towards spotting a person in the crowd saying, oh, I know this person. This is the same person as in all these other pictures. So we're like, yeah, just do the same thing, but with eggs. It's this forward thinking that landed Ethan as a top 30 finalist in the Broadcom Masters Premier STEM middle school competition. We're Broadcom Masters! This year, more than 1,800 students applied from all over the U.S. for a chance to win $100,000 in prizes and $25,000 cash. Students will present their projects to a group of scientists in Washington, D.C., while also working as a team to solve problems. How they solve a problem, how do they deal with the challenge, how do they communicate, all of this will be put forward as selecting the best young scientists and engineers. I found the challenge is very fun, engaging. I had a great time learning about rheumatoid arthritis and finding solutions to enhance diversity within clinical trials. Science has never been more important than what we're trying to tackle today, our intractable problems of climate change, of pandemics. And back in the Schlossberg home, as Ethan and his father continue to demonstrate for CBS3 what they did every night at the kitchen table for weeks, there was only one question left to ask. Does it work now? Does it work now? So what I ended up on is looking at the first result it got for each egg and putting that into an Excel spreadsheet and checking if the percentage it got correct was above the percentage it would get if it was just guessing. And Dad with the background in finance says because of Ethan's project, farmers could soon cash in. Some of the eggs are tastier or bigger or prettier and you'd like to know, like, if that's the quail that laid them, I want more of that kind of quail. Well, Keisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. That is so neat, so <laughs> interesting there. There are so many kids like Ethan who deserve special recognition. So you can head over to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com, if you'd like to tell us about somebody who you think deserves a special shout out as well. He is amazing. Mm -hmm. And this forecast, Tammy, is amazing. Also, it's pretty amazing. Good. It really is. All of it based on science. I 